Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Moon Animator in 2024 and giving you all the basic rundown for how to use it and how to animate in Roblox Studio. So obviously you're going to need the Moon Animator plugin. If you don't have the Moon Animator plugin too, I do have a link in the description below to show you how to get it for free. So go check that out if you need it. But anyways, you're going to want to go ahead and open up Moon Animator by clicking up in this plugins tab, clicking Moon Animator 2, clicking accept and activate if you haven't already. And now we have Moon Animator opened up. Now basically what I'm going to do is to begin animating a character, I'm going to go ahead and import one. You can search from the toolbox for a character like builder man but in my case i'm going to use this load character 2 plugin that you can also find on the roblox page and i'm going to import my own character there are two different types of characters an r6 and an r15 r15 just have more joints that you can move but here's our character so to get him into moon animator you're going to go ahead and click on him click new rig animation and as you guys can see now we have access to move different parts of his body so here's basically how we're going to go ahead and start animating him as you can see there's a different timeline track right here and this is going to be the character moving so now let's say we want his arm to move in the first few frames. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select right arm. And then you're going to select the keyframe and click add. And now we have a keyframe. So this is where it's going to start out. Now let's say we want it to slowly rotate a little bit to the side like this. You're going to want to go ahead and move the track right here. And then move it however much you want. So if you want his arm to go all the way up in this time frame, you're going to go ahead and do this. And then scroll back. And as you can see, his arm is going to move up. Now you can go ahead and pretty much do that for any of these other ones. You can create keyframes in each spot but in this case we're working on him so if i want his arm to move like this as you can see we have two different keyframes now realistically this is going to look different for however you're wanting to use it so i'm just going to do a couple different ones i'm going to make his head spin make his leg go up like this so here we go this is the first keyframe and as you can see his entire body moves now once you're done with your basic animation you're going to go ahead and click on file save as and we're going to type in moon animator or whatever you want to call it and then click ok now if you're wanting to use the camera you're gonna to want to go ahead and click on camera click on add and now we have a camera and now you're going to want to go ahead and select the camera make sure you're in the c frame and then add a keyframe so now you can move this to wherever you want let's say i move over here now and i create a new c frame and as you can see it's the same concept for the camera so now we can make a animation like this and that is the very basic rundown for moon animator 2 if you would like a part 2 smash a like on this video